Hi, this is Sonya with Artsy Solutions and welcome to week 36 of Using Up Scraps. And this week I decided to make a little shaker card using 100% scraps and meaning packaging scraps as well as paper scraps and things like that. Um, the only thing that wasn't like a scrap necessarily were some of these little pieces from a digital kit that I had previously designed. So to start out, here's a little paper, and it has like a little fall theme. You have like your little vintage truck and the trees in the backdrop, and I have the little shakers in there. And the shaker card also has some pockets or a pocket. And here's some little tags that come. Uh, this is from a Tim Holtz assemblage <laughs> package. And I just left the price tag still on there. That's what that comes from. And this is, well, this isn't a scrap. This is an actual tag from one of my, my Warm Harvest digital kit on Etsy. And I just backed it onto some brown cardstock. And I just did a circle punch and made this into a little tag. And like I said, this came from a packaging, um, I think it had some pins or something in it from, I forgot. Uh, anyway, I just kept it and then I created this border. And we've got a little pocket and a little sentiment and like a little umbrella with leaves. And this right here is basically just a Prima Marketing packaging, this backdrop. And I just sanded the back of it and sanded off some of the information, but I left some of the prints of the the pattern, the the words and text. I left some of it on there because I thought that looked good. But the overall Prima Marketing packaging looked really good, so that's why I used it and kept it as like the background for this right here. So see yeah, how it's got that in there. So let me go ahead and show you um, how I made it. And this week I'm just going to make some shaker cards using some packaging that I had left over. Um, I typically keep them like these were, uh, what was this? Straight pins. <laughs> That's what they were. And I'm going to use this shell to create um, like a shaker card. So, and I'm going to also use this leftover piece of shabby chic, uh, this Prima marketing. Um, I love that backdrop. A lot of what we purchase have just gorgeous backdrops and stuff. So, I'm going to keep some of what's on here and then I'll decorate the other stuff. So, to start out with, I'm going to, I'm just going to keep this the size that it already is. So I'm just going to cover this up with something. I'm not going to worry about the back because it's going to get glued to something. So I need to find something to cover all that up with. And I have some sandpaper that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree and it has different grits. And here's some 80 grit paper I guess I'll just use. And I'm just going to kind of just sand it down a little bit. As a matter of fact, if I can sand off these, this text, I might just leave it as is. I think I like that, so I won't even have to glue anything to it. Because I like it just the way that is. So I'm just going to wipe that off. Wipe off the sand. So now we have our backdrop and we need to f figure out something that's going to go in the center. But first, I want to make sure that I have all the remaining tape that was on here um, from where I took it off the packaging. Make sure I take it all off. Okay. So, what I'm going to use is, 
have a new digital kit out and when I was filming I, I cut out an envelope and when I didn't realize that there was a tag page that was directly behind it and as I was cutting out the envelope I didn't realize that I was also cutting the tags so obviously I couldn't use them in their original form however I can take an image from it and I think I'm just going to use this truck image so I'm going to fussy cut this little truck image out of here including the leaves and all of that okay so I fussy cut out the truck or jalopy or whatever you want to call it and I'm just going to take this alcohol marker and I'm just going to go around the edge and just kind of give it some shadow. I'm just going to go around the entire edge. Okay, and now I'm just going to take a piece of scrap black paper uh, cardstock and I'm just going to glue this onto it. And now I'm just going to cut this out. Okay, so now that's cut out. So we've got our centerpiece. But now we need to find some more stuff that's going to go around it. So we need some fall decor. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'll take some little bits and pieces from what I've already got cut out. I have some scraps from where I cut out the ephemera in these packages in the digital pack and some of these have like um, like stitches left over so I may create like some 3D like different level uh, backgrounds or lifted up backgrounds I guess if that makes any sense so I'm trying to build my backdrop Yeah, I'll probably keep the inside somewhat plain and yeah, the inside somewhat plain and then the inside will have the outside will have more decorations on it. So I definitely do want to use this. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and I'm going to need to um, sand this where I'm getting ready to glue just a little bit I'm not trying to take the background away from it I just want to make sure that everything that gets glued on here stays on here some art glitter glue and I try to put it in the center like I said this is just the back backdrop part of the backdrop I'm going to add more things in it
Okay, so here's another piece of scrap uh, packaging that I'm going to use. I love this color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this die that I just recently purchased and I'm going to die cut uh, a portion of this right here. Either this or this, or I may do two of them, we'll see. But I'm going to use them as like branches. This is some really thick paper, so that's why I ran it through twice to make sure I cut it completely. I think I'm going to do two of them like that. Okay, so I've got these cut out. And I think I'm going to place it I'm just going to use some of these pop dots lift this up so I'm going to go ahead and arrange how I'm going to have it. I'll go ahead and lift it up before I put this other one on. And I'm going to use some of these bigger ones for it. I'm going to add an extra layer on this one simply because that's already lifted up and part of it's going to go on top of that and so I need another layer to make it stand up on the back side. this one up. Okay, so now we've got our scenery. And what I may do to blend this in is just add like a little bit of paint or something. Or 
I'm just going to draw like some little mini leaves. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, yellow spray. Alcohol spray. And then I'm going to take a little brush. I'm just going to dab just a little bit just to kind of give it color. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the blue. Okay. And I don't like to waste anything, so I'm just going to take this piece of paper and wipe up this ink. And I can use it on another project. Okay, so now we can add our shaker stuff in here. And I've got, I'm not going to use too many. I've got some of these little beads. Um, Well, before I do that, before I add these in here, I'm going to I want to add some of my double-sided tape. And don't worry, this blue isn't really going to show because we're going to decorate it around the outside. But first, we want to make sure that this inside is taken care of. all the way pretty much to the edge and there's going to be some overlap but that's totally fine because we're going to be covering that up anyway so we're going to go around all four corners so you want to make sure that it's flat up against it really well because you don't want anything to escape. And you're going to go ahead and peel off the other side of the double sided tape. Okay and now you can add your beads and whatever types of things. And you, if you have like a really small hole punch you could cut like little leaves and things so that they could fall in there. That would be really cute and you could use those as part of your shaker card. Like I said, I don't want to overdo it so I'm just going to have just different little little things in here. I'm going to have some beads, some sequins, just little different things that you can use for with fall colors and stuff. And I got all of these from the Dollar Tree. All these beads. I even got the little packaging from the Dollar Tree. So you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to make fun projects. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of sequins. Or a little bit of blue sequins anyway. and a little bit of gold. And a little bit of green.
Okay, I'd say that's enough. So now, we're gonna make sure that there are no beads or sequins and things in the way of where, of where we're getting ready to glue this on. So we're just gonna try to line this up in the center, making sure that we're gonna cover everything up. And you wanna make sure before you start shaking, <laughs> You want to ensure that this is completely down in all four corners, all around, completely flat. And this is the beginning of your shaker. So now we're getting ready to decorate the outer parts of it. Okay, so like I was saying, I need something to go around this here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this. This is like a leftover, uh, this is a card. Well, not really a card, but it's, it's for some packaging that I bought some mini succulents stickers. So I'm just gonna kind of I'm just taking this and I'm just bending it around this uh, the square so I know specifically the area that needs to be cut out. And if you can see that now, but I can basically take my trim knife and just go along these edges and trim that out. So I'm and that should just pop out. And if it doesn't, then just go back over it again. And if you need to, you can just take some scissors and finish it off. I'm going to see if this is going to fit over top. And it pretty much does. So let me just take this back out. So I'm just going to cut or trim some of this off. This, with this being wood, a wood grain finish, I'm just going to cut on the lines. Because basically all I wanted was just a frame to go around this to cover that up. And to me, that's the easiest way without having to do a whole lot of measuring and stuff like that, you know. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that sandpaper again because this was packaging and it too also had like a, a smooth finish. So let me get my sandpaper back out again. And we're just going to sand, we're just going to sand this down. 
Then I'm just going to take some of this vintage photo. I'm going to go around it. And I'm just going to dry it with the heating gun. Okay, so this is still a little bit too big. Or actually, this is too small. So I'm just going to take just a little piece. From each end. I'm just going to take some of this blue-gray an alcohol marker. I'm just going to go inside the frame and around the outside. And you want to make sure that all of this is smoothed down. And you're going to add some double sided tape going around the edge. Make sure it's smooth. You want to make sure your frame is even all the way around. I might take this little hair of that off. And you want to take your something sharp to peel this away little by little. And then we're just going to push it down. Push one corner down first. Straighten it out. And then apply that edge. So you're just going to do one edge at a time. And we're going to make sure that this top and this bottom is lined up. So then we're going to press this one down and then we're going to make sure that it can go all the way across and down. Then we're going to bring this here. And then we're going to glide that one on down. And then you have your frame. So now we get to decorate. But before I decorate, I just want to go around the edges of this. with the sandpaper because we're going to be distressing it. I 
And I'm also going to go ahead and distress this back side. Well, not distress it, but I'm going to go ahead and sand it. I'm going to use some broken china. And I'm just going to kind of go around the edges with it. Then I'm going to come back through. Oops, I think I messed that up. And I'm going to use some vintage photo and do the same thing. Take this marker. I want to go around this edge and up here. Then I'm just going to put just some little marks in here. And then I'm just going to highlight some of it again. Okay, and so I found some decorations, and this is going to be a pocket. And we're just going to set this here, right above the frame. And then we're going to attach this to it. I think I'll have it going vertical. So I'll just add this bottom portion. So it can go up right. And let's see, I have the word gathering. I think I'm going to add it. I, may, I think I'll lift it up. I really like that. I think I'll just put this circle in the center.
And we've basically got us a shaker card. Let me back this up just a hair. So we have the truck. And we've got this, and we've got this pocket right here. So let's I'm gonna make a tag to go in it. Here it is. Um, I think I will add this. Actually, I'm just going to sand this off. So this is pretty much the completed project. I got three tags here that I made from packaging and circle punch and stuff like that. Basically, here it is. And shake it. And it's got a pocket and then the little tags that just now fell out. <laughs> and voila! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos on my blog and my social media sites. And as always, thanks so much for watching.